Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Industrial Fate. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Factorio 4X, your 15 minute Factorio fix. This is Season 2, Episode 16. And we are continuing our march deep into the heart of Biter territory. By, by turret marching with. or turret. <laughs> turret marching. Uh, using turrets to leapfrog and uh, kill the bad guys. Because that's what we do. Um. But it's, uh, it's all very exciting, and we're doing this while we're waiting for other stuff to process, etc., etc. Uh, so I spent some time watching a little JG Games. Uh, I'm up at 3 o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep. Big surprise. Um, <laughs> and uh, so I was, I was watching some other YouTubers and their, their videos, JG Games and Stejo and so forth, and watching their Factorio and how they do stuff. So I'm putting in the... Putting in the laser turrets because the bad guys are getting just a wee bit stronger, and uh, and I don't like that. So there's night vision. So I'm gonna head. If I recall, I'm gonna head out here and see what's going on. I believe I need to. Oh yeah, that's in case biters get through. I want them to have taken extra 33 and a quarter seconds to get, or extra three and a quarter seconds to get over there. So I'm gonna have to go over here and uh, kill some guys. Because that's what you do. And this is actually a very small base. Um, but it is it is rebuilding. And, and I have two choices I can either... with When bases like this are rebuilding, I can either... Look, at it, it's a blue one. It's the big daddy. Uh, I can either let them grow. Or... <laughs> tree shooting. Um, that's how I... I'm an NRA lumberjack. Um, so I can either let it grow... Or I can go take care of it. So, uh, I don't know. And here I'm going to put in lasers. And the thing, the reason it takes so long is these things, they pick up each piece of stuff off the belt. It's kind of hilarious. So. More lasers. I mean, that's, that's the only way in from the west. So I want to make sure it's extra strong. And I guess I'm going to use these. I'm pretty sure those lasers on the west end can take care of it. You know, that western town of Den and Walls. You know, the east end boys and the west end girls. West end girls? No? Okay. So, a little more reinforcement down there. We just hit the turrets. And that's a big, big crowd gathering up north. Um, it's not... It's not a big base, it's just a big crowd of dudes. There's night again. It's too bad there's not a always day mod for this. I may have to see if I can't find one. Or a 30 second of night mod or something like that. <laughs> so again, I'm watching the power. I want to see how we're doing here. Um, you never can be sure. Well, I can never be sure how the power is going to work with this stuff. It sometimes gets a little weird. Sometimes it gets a little not weird. The best you can hope for is that it just stays on. Especially if we go with lasers. So it might be worth, if you're doing a solar build, it might be worth mixing, and I don't know, this is probably foolish, but it might be worth mixing uh, regular turrets as well as... Uh, <laughs> here's a nice little short one. Uh, regular turrets as well as lasers. And maybe lasers to give a little more oomph. That's an idea. Sort of a, a hybrid defense system. So, I would like that... Uh, there are mods that introduce a lot more weapons, but none of them have, have really caught my fancy. The uh, Bob's mods is interesting. It has tons and tons and tons of new turrets, but it also has lots and lots of new versions of uh, monsters, and biters, and so forth. And there we go. Just, uh, they came down to visit, and I decided they were not welcome. See that? See, kids. That's why you don't uh, don't use your older sibling's ID at the door. They're not going to let you in. So, got more down here. That's me looking around, trying to see the the pollution. Where do I need to go? Uh, no, not the pollution. I was looking. What route do I have to take to kill the bases? And what I'm doing is I'm looking for forest, because on the map you can see individual trees. It's kind of neat. And then you can see where it thins, and that's where you want to run your power lines and assault through there. 
And I'm just looking here, seeing what's going on. Lasers are taking care of that. It's great. Um, and at this point, I'm still, mm, I'm still on the fence as to whether my uh, my open defense is working or not. I've seen evidence that it works more than it doesn't. Does that make any sense? Uh, it seems that as long as there's an open gap, then the uh, the biters tend to take the open gap with very few exceptions and I don't know I don't know how to uh, incite the biters to not take that so I'm researching these product uh, productivity modules because that's a prerequisite for um, it's a prerequisite for rocketry and I'm eyeballing my science again I'm thinking of rebuilding it or I'm just actually I do know I've, I'm pretty sure I've rebuilt it. So at this point, I'm actually going to go up here and uh, show these guys the back of the hand. Going to show them the rings. So here we go. More necessary research, so I can go ahead and. So we got a little base there. Apparently, the radar didn't get that. So I'm going to kind of come around the base here and let it build there. Now, the interesting part is, notice, I think the pollution is getting, look at, it's it's one spawner with six, seven worms. I think the pollution causes the worms to build. So I wonder if it'd be worth looking at a base that doesn't have um, pollution around it. Oof, look at that guy. To see if... Uh, it'd be worth it to see if uh, bases without a lot of pollution around them, if they uh, grow those big defensive worms. Now, if I carried around 50 turrets, I could creep easier. I could turk... <laughs> what is that guy doing? That guy was late to the party. That's the... Uh, if you go on the Factorio website, they have a really interesting article about how they do pathing for the mobs and or for the... Uh, for the biters and so Really interesting. Which gives me a little bit of hope for the open defenses. Uh, I just have to refine the concept and so forth. And everything's running out here, so I'm going to go take care of some of these other biter bases. And again, the, oh my gosh, I've got to run. <laughs> okay, there we go. And better safe than sorry. And my robots can reach there. How do you like that? Great stuff. Um, I know some people don't like looking at night vision. Uh, I don't have an issue with it. myself. Uh, apparently there is a there's a, a mod somebody said was specifically made for YouTubers. It's uh, like adds a 360 degree um, bubble of light around your character. Woof! Wow, that was jarring. The hard thing to see when you're zoomed out is it's hard to see if the if the power lines have attached. Yeah, look at that teeny tiny base. It's almost not worth taking the base out. <laughs> I mean, you have to do it. It's it's an enemy base. You should always take enemy bases out. Overall, though, I think the lower footprint has really helped me. I mean, I'm not getting a lot of base attacks. So, been pretty fortunate, I think. So, I, I definitely can see a good reason to use solar as a main power source. Uh, just just because during the day it keeps the pollution down. And of course at night you're going to have to deal with that stuff. But I believe this is where I have to start shooting trees again. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot everything. I mean, I have hundreds and hundreds of magazines of ammunition. I'm, it's not really a big deal. It's amazing how much range your submachine gun has.
Go get them robots. Show them the air of their ways. It's a lot of guys. And here we go, creeping. And the base is done. And we're going to go about and take care of some of these guys. And this guy would be pretty easy. Looks like it's just a small base. Pick up the cotton candy. I do like the robots the more I use them. Uh, I'm not really into the... I haven't gotten to the point where I use a lot of blueprints yet. Uh, but I'm hoping to get there very soon. Oh, lasers are too good. Too good. Sorry, I'm being quiet. I'm actually just enjoying watching the turrets take care of the, uh, the bad guys. <laughs> it's, it's entertaining for me to watch as well. So, again, another big base. Right, and then I can go clean up the rest. Gosh, robots are handy. Now here's the thing though, the long reach mod really kind of makes it so robots aren't... Robots are a convenience. This is not a necessity at all. This is a pretty big base, which means it's a uh, pretty big fun. And this gets a little sketchy because uh, if you notice, I took some hits. If I didn't have power armor, I would have bought it right there because some of the worms, I was within their range and they decided, uh, well, you know, they decided I needed punishment. And so we've got more down to the south. Do I go down south or do I just go, we're done? No, I think I'm going south. <laughs> Time to take out as many of them as we can. And which is a good policy. I mean, it does slow down. Um, it does slow down the, the creep back into the cleared areas. Although, to be honest, sometimes I really wish the bases were bigger. Uh, which is, I know, a silly thing because the big, the bigger bases are more dangerous. But you know, <laughs> it's it's convenience. I'm trying to harvest these guys. They have stuff I need. They have all the alien cotton candy, and they're quite selfish. They don't want to share. I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. I'm trying to kill those two worms, which are just weirdly sitting in the middle of nowhere. So, well, quite a few bases out here. Good stuff. And again, the cotton candy is always nice to get uh, for research and building and so forth. I'm not sure if I'm going to be building production modules with the the stuff I'm getting. Look at the size of that base. Ooh, doggy. Big base. Big base. So, get stuff here. Let, let it take care of itself. Is this the one where for some reason the lasers don't connect? I think it's one of these. Something weird. Something goes weird. Oh. I don't like that angle. I, I like coming in on, an, on a... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, straight up and down, a vertical. Oh, that one. For some reason, it didn't connect, and I don't understand why. So I just kept throwing down. Um, yeah, I kept throwing down a, a power pole. So I'm just like, woo, gotta get it.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're wrapping this up. Thank you for joining me for the latest episode of Factorio 4X, your 15-minute Factorio fix. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. So uh, you have a good night, and bye-bye.